Hi, Gemini. Welcome in. Gemini, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. We'll start by pulling you some general messages and then we'll take a look at your love life. Okay, we have club. It says someone will try to make you do something against your will. So I feel like somebody here is going to try to make you emotionally react, Gemini. We have short journey. Um, it's not going to last. Okay. We have caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change will come. So there's somebody here, Gemini, that's going to try to provoke you. And I feel like it's not going to work. I feel like you're going to see it a mile away, to be honest. And it might frustrate you, but I'm actually picking up on energy where you might actually be very impressed by the way you handle this situation. Caterpillar, you're going to recognize your growth. Because the old Gemini would have reacted totally different. We have Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps it's love, money, or goals. So if you're feeling like you're not fulfilled, ask yourself, um, what would more, what would fulfill you? What, what would make you happiest in life, Gemini? Okay, we have that. It says, take care, enemies are working against you. It's really important at this time, Gemini, to take care of yourself. It's really important to make sure you are hydrated, okay? Uh, drink a lot of water the next seven days, which you should be doing that anyway, but just be a little more cautious of that. Drink plenty of water. Make sure you're eating a well-balanced diet. Make sure you are moving around, exercising, uh, replenishing your energy as well. Make sure you are resting. Um, another way that I like to protect my energy is you can... Uh, make holy water, and then you can put some Himalayan salt in that holy water, place it underneath your bed at night. It does absorb all of the negative energy, and it replaces it with positive energy. Um, just, you know, if you have animals, of course, keep your animals out of the room. But just make sure you are performing self-care rituals uh, to keep yourself balanced at this time, because it does look like there are some people that are wanting to work against you. There's some people who uh, have it out for you. And Gemini, I feel like that's nothing new to you, okay? However, remember that, you know, jealousy is real for you, Gemini. The jealousy is real. I feel like there's people, even if they do have things in life, they just don't want you, they don't want you to be happy for some reason. This could be due to jealousy or this could be due to possibly somebody viewing you as competition. And they, they definitely view you as some sort of threat to them. Okay. They're, you're very threatening to them. We have this throne energy that came out. Position of authority. For some of you guys, they feel like you're going to dethrone them. Or they feel like you are seen better in a better light than they are. And they're very jealous of that, Gemini. They're very jealous of you on your throne. You in a position of power. That threatens them. We also have archway. And then we have flowers. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths are opening up to you, Gemini. And it's going to make you very happy. It's going to make you very happy. And I feel like a lot of this is happening for you in spring, but it is happening for you the next seven days. Let's get you an angel number, Gemini. Give me an angel number for Gemini, please. It says zero, zero, zero. I am a creator is your affirmation. It says you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth.
Bottom of the deck, I happen to look at the bottom of the deck, it says 1212. Your affirmation is I am focused. Your guides want you to stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality, Gemini. All right, let's see. What's coming in for Gemini for love? What's coming in for Gemini for love, please? It says, let your friends help you. Ask for support. Ask and accept support from others. You have this King of Swords energy slowly moving towards you. It's somebody that you're going to want to connect with, Gemini. I see you talking with this person. I feel like something here feels new and exciting. I, I see... I, I also see some... Some fun, funny banter here, okay? Conversation. Five of, uh, of wands, the page of wands. I'm picking up on, it's kind of like back and forth banter where you guys might even be debating in a jokingly way. Um, but I definitely see a new connection here developing between you and a King of Swords type. The King of Swords is typically aloof, okay? Um, very strong mind here. Yeah, it's very exciting, okay? I, I just, I, I feel like this Five of Wands, uh, with the Five of Wands, Four of Wands, Page of Wands, this to me is like an exciting debate, a funny debate. You guys are like back and forth. And it's kind of like an energy where you purposely are trying to trigger each other, purposely trying to, uh, in a jokingly way, in a sarcastic way, provoke each other um, and get some energy exchange from each other because we do have this Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So it feels to me like there is uh, a lot of exciting communication happening for you and this person. Yeah, and I'm just getting like, it's a whole, it's, it's a whole new world for this person. This person's not used to dealing with someone that has your sense of humor, Gemini. And I feel like that may throw this person off. You could be friends with this person first. Okay. Or this is advice to be friendly with them, get to know them on a friend level. Now, let your friends help you. Some of you guys may be discussing this relationship with your friends. Um, However, there is a message here to not completely go off of everything, all of their opinions, but I, I feel like it's good to let the connection kind of have some space, go out with your friends, Gemini, enjoy yourself, take care of yourself. Don't uh, constantly be communicating with someone. Don't be in somebody's face here. What do they want from Gemini? the fool they want to start something with you yeah they're ready to give to this connection they want to take a leap of faith and be with you i see unexpected communication from somebody you really like gemini you really enjoy this person's company and i feel like this person is wanting to take this relationship to a whole new level to a whole new world okay and you're going to have some things to think about. We have this three of wands, the hermit. I, I feel like you don't have to make any sort of rushing decisions. You don't have to immediately decide. This is all. I just feel like the universe is trying to prepare you for this connection or trying to prepare you in general because go ahead and start asking yourself now, what do you want? Prepare yourself now before your ships come in, Gemini.
is really what spirit is saying because somebody's coming towards you, Gemini, and they want to connect. I, I just, I feel like you're going to be completely caught off guard by this communication, by how, how much they actually do want to move forward with you. Because this is somebody planning a future. This is somebody wanting to move into the future with you. So go ahead and let your friends help you get out. Enjoy being single while you can, Gemini, because uh, someone's about to come in and change your whole world. Is what I'm getting. Let's get you a lover's oracle. I'm being called to pull one of these for you, Gemini. Okay, it says, Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Don't let any past, don't let an ex, don't let a breakup, don't let any past person keep you from moving into a relationship. Some of you guys, that could be what you're thinking about. You're wondering if you should, you know, remain a hermit or, you know, move forward into a new journey with somebody else. So I feel like this is Spirit's way of saying, go ahead and start figuring this out now. Go ahead and start letting go of resentment now because this is going to happen sooner than you think. And it's going to catch you off guard. So those are your messages, Gemini. Bye. You're